A very important application of the Pythagorean theorem is the SAG equation. Now, first of all, what is a SAG? SAG is short for SAGTA, which means, which is the, uh, if we take a chunk of a circle, an arc, we call it, and we measure from the core that cut off this arc, okay? Come to the middle of that core and go out to the curve. This length here is called the sag or the sagita. Often we want to relate the radius of our circle, the length of this chord, and sag. To do that, let's call, let's name our parts and do a little bit of algebra. We'll use this symbol here for this uh, length of the, the cord that is cut off this arc. We know that the radius of the circle is the same length from a center point of the circle somewhere, yes? So let's draw some triangles here. First off, um, we have this right triangle here formed by the radius here. And this length here, which is the radius, and if we split it there, well, if this is the sag, then this is the radius minus the sag, all right? So then if we want to have an expression for uh, the, the sag in terms of these other parts, uh, let's label this side of this triangle as well, and do this over two. Well, the sag is going to be radius, this whole length here, minus this portion here, yes? So the radius minus radius minus sag, well, that's not terribly informative, and yet in that form, we can now think about our Pythagorean theorem and get, uh, get a, an expression for this here in terms of just our phi and uh, radius. So we have that r minus s quantity squared, it's one leg of this right triangle, plus p over 2 squared, it's the other leg of that right triangle, equal to r squared. Since we want this r minus s, let's do a little more uh, algebra. So I've moved that, uh, that over, I've subtracted this from both sides, and now I'll take the square root of both sides. And since we're dealing with a length here, these literally do uh, cancel each other and give us that um, r minus x equals square root of radius squared minus phi over 2 quantity squared. Substituting that into this equation, we get that the sag is equal to radius minus the square root of radius squared minus phi over 2 quantity squared. And that's what we call the sag equation.